chills just thinking of. <laughs> with you this little girl right here she's a pooper okay like she can poop and she poops big I'm sorry if you're eating right now but I just have to tell you what's going on if you follow me on Instagram you would have noticed that I took her yesterday to the vet okay she has a little ball on her ear like here that gets filled with fluid and I have to get it drained once it starts getting big I like to take her to the vet to get it drained I can't do it myself because she moves a lot now I'm a vet tech so I deal with animals and aggressive cats and I deal with all that but I can't do that at home with her she knows I'm the mom and she doesn't stay still. So I take her to the vet to get that drain. And before she goes into the groomers because I don't want it, them to like hurt her or anything. But she has been losing weight rapidly. And she is very, very skinny. Something that she, it's never happened to her. She's always been a fat little piggy. Like I call her because she's always been like chubby and so I don't know what's going on. So yesterday when I told the vet this, I told her, you know, I not only do I want to get it drained, her little ball drained, but I also want her to get checked out because she's been losing weight rapids. She lost three pounds in the matter of two months. So the doctor said that's not good for that type of dog. That's a lot of weight loss. So... She did, did an examination on her. She has no pain nowhere. I told her what's been going on. I just switch her food over and so she caught a lot of diarrhea with that. Um, now she's back to her normal food. But she's still losing weight. I don't know if she's... I feel her like little bones now, which I never felt her little bones. She's always been like really thick. <sighs> well... Let me put you down for this. Well, this morning, my husband gets up and he sees a poop in the bathroom. And I get chills. I get chills. Yes, I'm a fat tech. I've seen things. But when it comes to my house, I get chills okay I don't know when I'm at the vet clinic like I'm prepared for it I'm mentally prepared for it. it's somebody else's dogs or cat or whatever it is and I still get chills but like I'm mentally prepared <sighs> he picks up the poop <laughs> the poop breaks and something comes out of it I have the chills I swear I swear that I have the chills you guys like my hair standing up okay i don't have any type of cockroach ants bugs bed bugs ants i don't have any of that stuff in my house okay because i don't like them so for that to happen it freaked me out okay so my instinct as a vet tech clicked in he woke me up because saw that he was freaking out I jumped up, I said, oh my god, grab it, save it, and put it in a Ziploc because we have to take it to the vet. Where's the poop? He flushed it. <sighs> no, you save the poop because they need to examine it. They need to send it to the laboratory, and they need to examine it, and they need to find out what it is. Okay? She's always been a healthy dog, but she's 11 now, so she gets a little older. We went upstate. I have those bugs, and we went upstate. I don't know what happened. Ever since she got back... She had taken flea medication, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was from that. I don't know if it was because I switched over. I, was, I don't know. So now, you only, pets only get worms in their poop, okay? He swears that that came out of the poop and it was like, it had legs and it was crawling. Worms don't have legs. I need this little thing to poop before three o'clock 
took her outside. I walked her. She wouldn't poop. She poops all the time. And today that she needs to poop because I need to drop this off at the vet so they can send it out and get it examined, she doesn't. She doesn't poop. So now I have to wait till Monday for her to poop so I could take that to the vet and they would wait another day so they could get the results because it's, it's 20 they get the results the next day and now I'm freaking out because I don't know what she has in her stomach I don't know if there's things living inside of her which I'm getting the chills just thinking about it but I just hope if anything I just hope she feels better because I'm pretty sure she feels not good they took blood yesterday and oh my god i don't know what to do i have to wait the whole weekend with my poor dog like this she can't be. by the way i'll keep you guys updated right now she's sleeping she's snoring that's something that she loves to do but yeah i'm like i have chills all over her and i'm like it's my dog, so it's different, you know? It's different. Kind of forgot how to turn this thing on. Hello, my beautiful people. It's nice to turn the camera back on. It's been a while. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I almost dropped you. Um, yeah. Hi. Happy New Year. It's July 10th. I didn't pick up the camera since new year's well i don't think i filmed new year's sorry i just did little clips on my instagram story <laughs> but yes it's nice to pick up my camera again and say hello i still have my christmas stuff um maybe this weekend i'll bring everything down it's just even though I wanted, wanted to start at a really good, positive new year, it didn't really for me. And I don't want to bring this video down because I'm feeling a lot better right now. I just came back from the gym and I feel good. That's why going to the gym is so good. Well, kickboxing. I went kickboxing. And yeah, you guys, so like I was telling you, no face to you so yeah um i got a few bad news the beginning of january and i just didn't feel like i didn't feel motivated to do anything to film to go work out to just do and and, and i was so busy too like the last week of december christmas december and beginning of january it was just not a good beginning but but staying positive um and 2020 has to be a good good year for me to make the story short lola has been getting very sick lately and she lost a lot of weight i don't know if i've mentioned this maybe in another vlog but she got really skinny we took her in to the doctors. The doctor said she lost three pounds, but three pounds seems not a lot, but for her little tiny body, it was a lot. Like you could feel her bones and her spine already. She was still walking and eating and drinking. Everything was normal except the fact that she lost a lot of weight. Something inside of me said, this doesn't look good, but I still kept on, you know what, maybe, she has a worm inside her stomach, inside her stool. I don't know. I was just going through all the scenarios that maybe she could have because, again, I'm a vet tech, so I've seen stuff like that. But deep, deep, deep inside, I knew that something was wrong. The doctor said we need to do a ultrasound, abdom abdominal sonogram. Monday, this Monday, I believe it was the 6th, I took her in. And I felt so sad just leaving her there and coming back home and it was so lonely. It just reminded me when I took Gizmo and I put him to sleep because he was old already. And he just 
he just passed away from old age and it was it was time for him to go but Lola kept me going you know and I just felt so sad the whole day finally I went to pick up Brianna and I got the news from the doctor it was not good I'm gonna show a clip here of when it happened I I don't think I'm gonna edit this because I don't want to go back to that moment but yeah this is the clip I just found out that Lola has a tumor in her stomach she went in today for a sonogram and she has a tumor so I'm gonna go pick her up now but I wanna take everything out before I go to her because I know dogs can read emotions they can, they can sense it so I don't want to be sad I'm picking up Brianna from school right now I don't want to be sad when I pick her up I just have to share it because if I'm vlogging my life this is part of my life I just lost Gizmo a year ago and I've had them my entire life Gizmo was 18. He was a fighter. L Lola, she had allergy problems and she was, you know, here and there, but this just came out of the blue. Like, you know, she got sick. No, she didn't get sick. She got skinny in a matter of like a month. Like, she was always like fat. Cause, like, I used to call her my piggy because she was fat and chubby and you know and in a matter of a month i could feel her bones and so we took her in today for a sonogram and she has a tumor in her stomach so the doctor gave us two options and she's not in pain so that's the first thing i asked is she in pain she's not in pain because the doctor examined her her stomach and pressed her and she says she does not she's not in pain but she might be uncomfortable so they're gonna give her meds and let's see but she's not gonna last for a really long time and i really don't want to see her suffer so let's see what happens yes so the results were that she has stomach cancer she has a tumor in her stomach and the two options that the doctor gave me was chemo and medicine and she said that I have to think about what I'm gonna do because once I start the medication I can't go into chemo and if I go into chemo I can't stop and go into the medication I knew I didn't want to put her through chemo I just didn't want her to be sick the last you know months of her life to be sick and not feeling well I just didn't want to put her through that that's just my opinion and my husband's opinion we just thought that that's better for her if she could just take some medication and be comfortable the first thing I asked was was she in pain she is not in pain the doctor examined her and she doesn't seem to complain or what is it weep I don't know I don't, the sound that dogs make so she's not in pain which is the, the good thing um she still eats and everything like she's normal it's just the fact that she's getting skinnier so we went ahead and we sent medication with the chemo she'll last probably like a year with the medication a lot less but again i just want her to be comfortable and enjoy so now we're like she had allergies as a young dog so she was limited on food on treats on everything and now she could just eat whatever she wants the part of the medication that they're giving her also is kind of like a text of allergies so she's good on that so now we're just like spoiling her you know and i'm giving her the medication and i see her that she's a little bit more active than before because it also treats arthritis you know dogs that are old get arthritis and so yeah you guys i'm su we're super sad you know but she was a great dog she is a great dog and we just want to make her comfortable and it's it's not great when you hear that those news um yeah that and among other few things but that those things could be fixed i don't care like it could be replaceable but to switch things around 
I will show a little clip of Lola before she's sleeping right now. So she's fine. She's fine. She's good. I went back to working out today, which felt really good, and I feel really good. It's, I'm telling you, working out makes you feel good, like the inside, you know. Not so much the outside because you're sore, but yeah. So I want to do a video. I ordered 2020 Life Planner from Erin Condred. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And I'm excited. I'm supposed to be receiving it today. And but I have to leave. Hopefully the mail person gets here on time because I want to review it. It's the first time I ordered their planner and I'm excited. Oh my God, I didn't think planning was a thing, okay? Being a planner girl is a thing. I just found that out on YouTube. Like I just, because I have a planner, hold on. Okay, so in one of my other videos, I rem you guys remember I showed you my YouTube planner. So this is a regular planner that I bought, I don't remember, maybe Target, I think. Um, it's just a regular monthly planner and this is my YouTube planner so I write everything when it comes down to like when I filmed, when I edit, when I posted and at the end of the month, in the beginning of the month I write how many subs I started with and how many and at the end of the month I write down how many subs I ended with. This is just something that I want to keep track. I want to know how my channel is doing, how it's progressing, I want to see what works what you guys want to see, what I could maybe film a little more of. And it's, this is part of the whole process, you guys. This is something that I just, I like doing. Like, I'm excited doing this. I like filming for you guys. I like doing videos for you guys. And every new thing that I learn, I try to say it here. And I learn a pretty cool tips when it comes to Epsom salt. Natural remedies for like hair, skin, lips, and all of that. So I'm going to be doing a video on that. Um. So yeah. So going back to the planner. Obviously, I need a 2020, but it hasn't arrived yet. So searching for like good planners, I came across like this big community of people that are into planners. Like they go all out. They decorate their planners. <laughs> they I mean it's pretty cool I, I, I'm into it so yeah I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my planner stuff I ordered one for my fitness which I needed I should be writing it down now because I just came back from working out I need to start getting more motivated back into my fitness routine because I have not been I used to work out five days a week okay maybe six sometimes and now if I go once I'm like I worked out and I don't want to 2020 needs to be a very very active fitness you know a good year it's gonna be a good year so I'm excited for that I'm gonna do a review and unboxing video on Erin Condred's life planner for 2020 I'm excited I just feel like I had to jump in here and give you a little update of my life because I've been gone for such a long time. I think more than a week and in YouTube world, a few days and a week is a long time. So just wanted to come in here and say hello. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will be doing the planner review soon. See you guys soon.